no matter how old I get, I'm always gonna drink a Capri Sun. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi Amber. If you're new, what's popping? What's good? It's lit around here. We are very, very close, like dangerously close to 10K. I don't know, what should we do when we hit 10K? Comment down below. But today is a super exciting. I have a pretty little thing haul. I got some nice vacation stuff. I know summer is about to end, but in my head, like, summer not over till after my birthday. So, got some cute bikinis, some cute vacation stuff. I know people are still trying to get their vacationing out. But, yeah, it's going to be lit, and we got a lot of stuff to show. But before we get started, shout out to Dossier for partnering with me again for another video. Super grateful. And I have two new scents to show you guys, so let's get into it. So here is the first box. This is the first one. It is the fruit honey scent. So the top notes are black currant, green leaves, and middle notes are honey and nectarine, and the base notes are peach and vetiver. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's inspired by Joe Malone's Nectarine Blossom and Honey Cologne. And I don't know, I'm really into fruity scents. Like ever since I got Oriental Cherry, like this, yeah. I don't know if you guys know this, if you're new to my channel, but I've said before that I'm really into vanilla scents and I feel like working with Dossier and being able to try out their perfumes, I've been able to explore and expand my range. Cause girl, I was not trying to expand outside of vanilla, but this smells so fresh, like a nice spring day. Like it literally, literally smells like peaches if you want something that's nice and fruity this is the way to go especially also the oriental cherry that i reviewed in my last video that i partnered with dossier but this one is super fresh super nice smells like peaches literally 112 peaches and cream and then here's the second one it's scent is just the aquatic coconut you guys know i want to try this one because this one is inspired by maison margella beach walk and i have that scent so i wanted to know if it smells like it and if you are looking for something very similar that is not gonna break the bank designer vibes get you this one this kid you not smells exactly like the maison margella one like and if you don't know what this smells like this literally smells like the cleanest freshest nicest beach you can think of that is exactly what this smells like and oh uh, i really love this okay i didn't even tell you guys the top notes or anything but top notes are bergamot pink pepper lemon aquatic accord middle notes lang lang heliotrope flower coconut and the base notes are musk cedarwood benzoin and tonka bean and of course you guys know you're ordering scents offline so they do offer a risk-free return system so in 30 days if you don't like the scent you can return it back and they'll give you a full refund so that is amazing they also have great bulk deals on their website if you want to get both of those perfumes that i just recommended go ahead and shop and if you get three perfumes you get a 20 percent discount and you can also use my promo code 10 naomi for some money off and the aquatic coconut set is actually new that's why i was really excited to try it out and they're super open to recommendations for new scents so i was really really excited they added this one to their collection customer feedback back is 110 appreciated and obviously taken into consideration and best of all the perfumes are vegan cruelty free clean ingredients and they are never tested on animals so that is a super plus and honestly we love to see it but we have so many clothes to get through so let's get into this haul thank you again Dossier, for partnering with your girl for this video and yeah <laughs> First things first, we just have this two-piece set. Isn't she so cute? I actually folded her, and she doesn't need to be folded. I don't remember what size I got this, but it's a perfect size. I just think it's a little too long. I don't know if you guys can see. You will see in the trying portion. I was about to get on this chair, child. This is these shorts. They don't have pockets. I just want you guys to see the length. I folded it up because I just want it to be a little shorter. <laughs> I folded it up because I wanted it to be a little bit shorter, but it's just in this really nice chocolate color. I cannot wait to wear this. I'm probably going to wear this tomorrow when I go out. Um, and it has this, and then there's just this long sleeve crop top. I really wish I could wear it like off the shoulder, but it's not going to work like that. And then the sleeves are puffed, but I did unhook the um the buttons at the end to give it more of a chic, you know, more relaxed laid back look because you know it is a collar, like. You want to give it a little bit more relax, not so stuffy. I am in love with this. I think it's super cute. Like, I still have the tag on it, y'all. <laughs> I would probably pair this with 
some sandals, some white sandals in a white bag. But I also really want to do a monochromatic look like with my brown toe bar bag and like some brown heels. But let's move on to the next item. I'm really just picking up as I go because like I said, I got mad stuff, okay? Ooh. Okay, so the next thing that I got is just... I don't know what my obsession is with these jail sandals nowadays, but I saw an outfit on Pinterest and I'll insert it on the side if I can find it, but I was so inspired to get these. I'll insert the picture so you guys like don't think I'm crazy, but it's a fire fit. Like it really is a fire fit. So I got these. I do recommend sizing up because they are a little small for me. I honestly just think I had a growth spur in my foot because really none of my shoes are fitting and I don't think I'm a size 8 anymore, so... That really sucks for me, but let's move on. So the next thing that I got is I'm a I'm a little scared for her. Honestly, I don't think I would wear this right now during the summer because it's pretty hot. But I do think this is gonna be a very nice fall piece. It's just this ribbed white romper, and then in the front it says pretty little thing, as you can see. And I don't know if this is gonna be a see-through or not. We will see in the charm portion. And I'll tell you guys on the screen if it is a see-through because that could be very much an issue here too. But I think she's super cute. Y'all know I love me a good sporty look. So I'm really excited for this. Probably won't be able to wear this until maybe October, maybe late September. But really excited I got this and nonetheless because it is super cute. The next thing that I got is very much a vacation vibes, okay? It's one of those pieces where me holding it up is not about to do no good for y'all. But so this is what it looks like. It's just a halter, very much a maxi dress. It's mesh, so it is a bathing suit cover up. And in the back, it does tie. And also in the front, it does like do like this little dip kind of action here. Y'all are going to have to see this on. And I hope it fits like a glove. I hope it's giving body adi freaking oddy like i'm super excited for so this so the next thing that i got is just this bathing suit i got it because it's very much burberry inspired but your girl ain't got burberry money so this is gonna have to do um it does look pretty tiny i got this in the us four so do recommend sizing up honestly because this really looks very much itsy bitsy teeny weeny and then the bottoms actually do this cross at the top i will try and show you guys in the channel portion i don't know you just got to see my vibe for today it ties around your waist like that if that makes sense so <laughs> really excited for this very cheeky she is very cheeky so if you're not into that this might not be for you but i think it's super cute nonetheless if you're looking for a cute burberry dupe this is the way to go i'm sure it's super affordable and let's move on to the next item. so next i'm super excited for these because they're just these green shorts and it has this writing ooh, wrong side has this writing on the side it just says pretty little thing established in 2012 super minimal vibe they actually really remind me of pangaya the brand i think that's the right brand and they sell shorts similar to this and i was thinking of pairing this with like a very streetwear kind of vibe like those black sandals that you saw and those white socks and then like a white like skims-esque top that i'll show you guys next actually so i did get a top similar to this a few hauls ago and i really love the quality of it and i got the same bralette it does have a matching bottom but i didn't get the right matching bottoms for this order we'll get into that a little bit later but this is what it looks like it's super itsy bitsy teeny weeny so again if you're not comfortable with that this might not be the top for you i actually think i did size up this time because the last time i did get a size smaller so i learned my lesson um but yes this is skims-esque top and it's just white cream ribbed and the matching set is really cute too they have it in like orange blue. they have a whole bunch of colors on the website but i only have black and now i have the white top so so these are the bottoms that I got that I thought were going to go with that rib top, but it's actually a cream color. Take my word for it because it's not showing up cream on camera, it's showing up pretty white. But um, yeah, it's just this Skims-esque bottoms. It is ribbed, so I don't think it'll be too... Well, actually, it might be see-through. I don't know about these. Might not keep these because I really just wanted the matching set to the top that I got. Um, The matching bottoms to the top that I got, so yeah and it's not even like a nice color cream so yeah moving on so the next thing that i got is another cover up another bathing suit cover up it is just orange and then it has these slits on the side
this is about to give i don't know where i'm going but just know wherever i go it's gonna give it's gonna give down and i don't know i'm thinking up here this can go good with like a black um a black bathing suit under this a white bathing suit but i'm thinking maybe i should put a yellow bathing suit under this and see if i look like the sun like i know i'm somebody's sunshine so so the next thing that i got also kind of fall-esque but i could see like this getting some use in the summertime too it's just this ribbed maxi dress but it does belt in the front and it does have a nice open back mm. This is very groomed woman, very brunch vibes here. And the ribbing isn't super, the ribbing isn't super like thick. It's like that fancier ribbed, if that makes any kind of sense. So this is a really good quality. I hope this fits me. I got a size US 4. So I don't know, it does look a little bit big, but then again, it does have the belt. So that'll accentuate the waist, make it look like I have some hips, some non-existent hips. So love that for me and let's move on to the next so item. next we just have another bathing suit and this one reminds me of cotton candy it's just in this i'll show y'all one by one because it's getting all tangled up child i'm gonna call it cotton candy because it's pink blue and like this purpley color and it just reminds me of a nice sunset it is a little big i don't know what size i got i got a size two so i'm really not too sure why this isn't giving what it's supposed to give like i don't understand so i'm a little bit scared but maybe i should have some cheeky bottoms and less thong bottoms for bathing suits and then here's the top the top is also like super small like i don't know i i know i'm a part of the itty bitty titty community but honestly come on guys this is a little small and what size is this this is a us2 so maybe i just need to size up and stop thinking that i'm super small because yeah let's move on i think this is the last bathing suit but again me holding it up not about to do y'all no good because it's a one piece of bathing suit i'll insert a picture on the side if i don't try it on it's just this one piece of bathing suit and it does like a whole bunch of ties i honestly don't even know how i'm about to get into this because it's a lot of string there's a lot going on here but i think the cutest part is like this piece here i think the cutest part is this piece here it's just this rhinestone heart i just think it's so cute and girly and fun like that is like little things like that is every bit of me if y'all if y'all know y'all know this is every bit of me okay i think this next item is the last clothing item it did come with like these arms i don't know about all that but <laughs> it's this yellow cream and this is showing up more cream on camera so this is like the true color i do not know how to describe this it's just a maxi dress <laughs> um it does do like this little tie at the armholes and it has like this lettuce trim it is mock neck and like i said it's like in a yellow creamy color yeah us size two but i honestly think i kind of got in a size zero so we're just gonna have to see when i try it on like if it fits if it's giving if it's a vibe all that good stuff so yeah and y'all know a haul isn't complete without a little bit of accessories and y'all know i don't really wear too much like rings or anything just my name necklace and my little earrings but i love sunglasses here is the first pair it's just in this like reddish let me move that it's just in this like red ombre i really don't know why i got these two because i am not the biggest fan of aviators on my face because i think i just have such a peanut head like I could have took the tag off like, yeah I just feel like I have a peanut head so they just don't frame my face well but I think they're super cute nonetheless like who about to check me I'm gonna still wear them because I bought them so and then last but not least I just have these tortoise shell glasses but the cool part about these is they have like this elongated arm and I like it because it kind of like blocks out the Sun on both freaking sides so like even if I turn to the side, you're not, I'm not going to see, I'm not going to see you. Like if any glasses were to be hater blockers, it'd be these. Cause I cannot even see you out of my peripheral. Like these are fire. Like these are every bit of me. 
I might wear these tomorrow. <laughs> so that concludes the end of this haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you stuck around to the end, I hope you found some cute pieces. I feel like I picked out some pretty good stuff. Like, I don't think it was too many misses here, okay? So I'm super excited for that. And thank you again, Dossier, for partnering with your girl on this video. And do not forget to like this video. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to comment. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.